My name is Carlos Reyes. I'm the welding instructor here at Summit Colleges. I'm also the CWI, which just stands for Certified Welding Inspector. This afternoon, I'll be giving you a quick tour of our facility. As the students come in, they're going to walk into our classroom, which is set up with a nice projector system. We have a, a phase one, phase two modules that we run on a daily basis. And as they watch the, the, the video for the day, they get prepared, they get geared up. Then they make their ways over to, their, uh, to, to the actual welding booths, which I'm going to be showing you in a second. Once we exit the classroom area, we enter the actual work area, the welding area, starting with the cutting and preparation areas. This is where we do 90% of our cutting and our beveling for the projects that are going to be scheduled to be prepared and completed by the end of the, each class meeting. Here has to do with oxy fuel cutting and welding. A total of 16 booths, 16 tables with their own individual torches in order for the students to start working for oxy fuel uh, module number two. To our right, the modules that are to follow, which are Here's an example of one right here. This is a uh, GMAW process, which stands for gas metal arc welding. It's one of our semi-automatic processes. It is a process that uses gas along with wire, and the gases are usually either mixes or 100% of a certain type of inert gas. In this case, we use carbon dioxide here. On this side of the shop, and again, another module, were set up for the other type of semi-automatic process, which stands for uh, the, the FCAW process, which that abbreviation stands for flux core arc welding. Very similar to the gas metal arc welding. The only difference is this specific wire does not require uh, gas, any kind of an inert gas. It's just a self-shielded wire. Here's where we keep the majority of our projects that the students complete on a daily basis. So what we do, uh, so that we're able to inspect their work on a daily basis. Once they cool down, we keep them on this table. They've got their initials written so that everyone's able to identify what's what. Uh, student safety bulletin, we've got some brochures and we've also got, have some uh, um, uh, documents that, are, that need to be posted uh, for, for the student safety. Right over here, we have some, XM, we call them XMTs, inverters. They are an, pretty much an all-in-one type of a machine. It's a power source that you can run multiple welding processes with, and it's also part of our, one of our modules. Right over here, we come into the meat and potatoes of the modules. This is a, a, a Miller CTS 280. This is where we do our uh, SMAW process, which is our shielded metal arc welding, which is the same as to say that they're doing stick welding, arc welding. That's the way people know it out in the field. Uh, we've got a lot of these machines set up and, and th this machine is great for anything that has to do with out of position welding in the structural, industrial and even sheet metal industry. So we've got, we've got a lot of those, those machines set up here. Two rows, we've got a row here, a row here and we've got two more back to back right in this area. These are the types of machines where we're going to get the bulk of students. So we, you know, we need to make sure that we meet their needs. So we're very well equipped for this SMAW process. As a result of us being a test facility here at Summit Colleges, we've, by law, we have to have a, a, an oven that holds my low hydrogen electrodes. And these, that, that's where we keep our electrodes stored. By law, that's where they need to be. Okay, there's a couple of them here. Usually it gets stocked up, especially when we have a test or testers that need to come in and, and, and complete a test. And lastly, we have one more area that I'd like to show you. Everything against this wall right here is our GTAW machines, which are gas tungsten arc welding, which also stands for gas tungsten, and work with our, our multi-process machines here as well. This next machine is gonna be featured in our oxy fuel module, which is called a plasma cutter. It's a Spectrum 875 made by Miller. And this is gonna be the type of machine that you're gonna be using as an alternative for cutting. This piece of equipment is uh, gonna give you the impression of cutting with laser. It's a high pressure machine with gas, air, compressed air, and also uh, the power of 220, uh, which is our electrical. I'm about to demonstrate for you guys uh, the proper way to make an effective cut with 16 gauge mild steel. 
with this plasma cutter, with the Spectrum 875. This was a brief introduction to our, our beautiful welding facility and looking forward to working with you. Thanks.